Hi guys, I want to show you a cool trick today using a uh, mobile Lightroom. Um, I have this image that I shot and I've already done all my global editing to it. In other words, if I go in, you can see I've messed around with some of the settings and you know the color and, and just a general thing. So I'm happy with it. I even created several versions so I could kind of see those. But what I'm going to do right now is close up my editing toolbar and I'm going to with the this is I'm intending to do this I'm going to create a situation where I'm going to put color just where the flower is and make all this black and white now the hard way to do this is if I hit the plus and grab the brush and then you know spend all my time carefully coloring all that in um let's work smarter not harder so instead we're going to click on the second option which is the radial gradient and I'm going to select the flower so because I'm grabbing a circle I'm going to start in the center and you can see it drags outward from the middle. And it doesn't have to be even be a perfect circle. I can always modify it as I see fit. So, and I can move this where I need to. That looks good. And obviously if I go now to color and reduce the saturation, the flower is in black and white and the background is still in color. So I wanna show you the trick, which is where I'm gonna reverse everything. Over here on the side, if you click this little button, it looks almost like a little yin yang. It, flips it all. So now this is all selected and this, the flower is not selected, even though that's what I initially grabbed. I'm also going to make sure that my feather is set to something kind of high. So I'm just going to drag that up and you can see the feather move up. So it's at about, you know, 86% because I want to have a smooth transition. If I feel like that's too much, I can always drag it down again. Eh, I think after looking at that, I think sometime somewhere around there. I'm going to hit done and you see how quickly and easily I was able to accomplish that. Obviously this is more of a circular shape. It, if it was some weird shape, I would have to use other tools to do this. And I am of course going to go to my versions and I'm going to hit create version. And I think I'll call this one black, white, black, white, right? Oops. And then hit apply. And what's nice about having all these versions is that again, if I wanted to later on, I can go back and just, you know, see all the different edits that I've created over time. Here's one where I mess around with the colors in the flower. And I even have the original there too. So um, I've got a little bit of everything, uh, which is kind of nice. So um, that is how you use the, um, the radial edit. 